Wow, Wally here. Behold, my empty woodshed in all its glory. Guys, I built this woodshed a couple of years ago. I made plenty of mistakes. Played, made, I played plenty of mistakes. Can't speak either. I made plenty of mistakes, guys. These are the ones I made, and this is how I would do differently. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. So as you can see, I'm sure like your wood storage areas or your wood sheds as well, uh, when they are not full, they are used for a lot of different storing of ladders and, and, and keeping laundry dry and stuff like that on a rainy day. A lot of stuff. Guys, it's early summer and this is the wood I have left over from, from the previous winter. Now, I'm actually gonna remove this and I'm gonna put it into, into the other wood shed once, once I get some, some more wood into that because I'm, I'm, I'm going to revamp this wood shed. When I, when I put this shed together, right, myself and Uncle John did it. This was me and Uncle John's first building project before we built the, the cabin in the woods. Uh, guys, it was built out of necessity, right? And this is the main mistake that I made, is I, I didn't put a lot of planning into this. Now, I should have realized from the ones that I built previous, I should have realized that there were certain things that I should do and certain things that, that I should avoid, guys. And the first one, the most important one, and the one that annoys me the most, is the height. Now, you think to yourself, well, you know, what's wrong with this? Well, the thing is, is that there's pallets on the floor in here. When you're in it you sort of you're always at a crouch guys so if you are building a woodshed what i would advise you guys is to build it at least eight foot at the front and, and get it you know seven foot or, or something at the back so that you can stand in it okay now if it was taller that would also mean that i would be able to store more wood on it guys uh, and, and and that is that is a big thing hey Bruno, that is a big thing. Bruno loves it here. This is like a toy shop for Bruno. Literally, he just pulls the sticks out of this all the time and runs around eating them. He just loves them. Don't you, Bruno? No, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. So, oh, look, he has a stick. No, he has a stick. Look. Guys, so definitely the height. Build it taller than you think, right? Build it taller than you think. And remember what you're going to put on the ground is going to affect your internal size. Now, At the back here, let me get this stuff in the way. At the back here, guys, I actually just have pallets leaning up against this, right? Now, what what happened to to this was that there was actually a, a, a fence. This is this is the old fence that was behind it. Now, I didn't realize that the old fence was not in a good in good condition when I when I built this, hey Bruno. Uh, so what actually happened was the old fence fell down behind everything, and it just looked looked really unsightly, guys. So what I should have done. Is I should have removed the old fence and I should have just made the structure and you know and, and Bruno. Uh, I should have basically checked what I was doing before I started. You know, I just assumed that the fence was fine. Also, guys, I I had great intentions of putting gutter, guttering along the back, but I didn't get that done, right? So what that means is that water does not touch the wood, it runs off the roof. Down the back it doesn't actually touch the wood at when the wood is stacked because of the pallets against the back but it does come down onto the floor now that leads me to the next thing i put pallets in as the floor as i said i sort of was rushing at it and i wasn't really thinking to thinking the truth and what I did was I didn't bother getting really good heavy duty pallets. I just sort of used the pallets that I had. And they are not doing well. Okay, so there's, first of all, they're touching the ground. That means that they're, they're drawing up moisture from the ground all the time. So they're becoming, they're, they're rotten basically. And also the fact that the water is dripping down the back instead of running along a gutter and into a barrel like it should be, uh, is, is meaning that there's more moisture than is needed down there. Okay, so 
I, I did have an issue with frogs one year living in my wood pile and that is not a good thing. Not a good thing. The last thing guys, and I don't really, I wouldn't really have been able to do too much about this, but it has, I, I have noticed a massive issue, uh, not a massive issue, a massive difference between the drying time between the wood that I store in this and the wood that I store in my one that is out the back, the big, the, the taller one. Guys, and it's location. It's location, right? So this is, my house is right here. This is the gable wall of my house. And you can see through the through the, the slats there, that's actually the gable wall of the house next door, right? So we don't get a lot of wind going through here. We de definitely don't get direct sunlight or anything like that, guys. And I feel that if you have your, your if you have your woodshed organized in a way that, that it is getting a lot of sunlight, you know, if it's facing southerly or northerly depending on what hemisphere you're in guys i think that it makes a big difference to to, to how your wood dries guys and, and how fast it dries so guys that's it for me uh what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this whole thing apart next week and i'm going to rebuild it uh i'm going to build it up i'm going to take away the rotten fence i'm going to build something else up and uh, just generally just tidy it up a little bit because i feel it just you know when it's full of wood, you don't notice, but when it's when there's no wood in it, you just notice that it's, that it's untidy. Uh, I hope that information might have helped you guys. Think about it. Plan it properly. You know, take that extra couple of weeks or whatever it is and, and, and decide and, and look around and look on YouTube and look what other people have done, guys, and decide what you think would work best for you. And that's the way to do it. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.